Computer vision applications that require low latency response typically rely on FPGA or ASIC hardware to process the incoming image frames because there's so much data to process. For example, an object detection or recognition application can use the hardware fabric to apply filtering, thresholding, edge detection to reduce a complex frame to a simpler representation for the software to process. But to keep up with the rate of incoming pixels of, say, a 1080p RGB input at 30 frames per second, requires the FPGA to process almost 223 million pixels per second, 222.75 megahertz, which is doable with today's FPGAs. And quite often the RGB channels can easily be processed in parallel, reducing that required clock speed to 74.25 megahertz. Processing higher frame rates at this resolution pushes the required speeds much higher to where it's going to be pretty challenging to meet timing, and the resulting power consumption will present all kinds of challenges. And with 4K and even 8K resolution cameras becoming more prevalent, processing even 30 frames per second will require clock speeds well beyond the capabilities of these devices. Fortunately, FPGA and ASIC hardware can process multiple streams in parallel, in video processing, this is often called multiple pixel per clock processing. While this can be straightforward to implement for a simple pixel at a time color conversion, algorithms such as filtering or edge detection need that pixel plus its surrounding neighborhood pixels. In pixel streaming, this requires storing enough rows for the height of that window in a line buffer. But how do you take advantage of this parallelism in a resource efficient manner? After all, each vector contains contiguous pixels, so the neighborhoods around them have significant overlap. Vision HDL Toolbox makes it easy to get started processing multiple pixels per clock. All you have to do is update the frame to pixel conversion to specify whether you want to try 4 or 8 streams in parallel. This will output a vector 4 or 8 pixels wide, which will correspond to 4 or 8 inputs when you generate HDL and the algorithm supported will automatically update their hardware architecture to simulate this parallelism and to generate HDL that's architected to share a lot of the resources between the parallel streams, so most resources will scale sublinearly. If you want to explore the trade-offs of moving to a different amount of parallelism, just update the setting on the gateway blocks and regenerate HDL. If you need to develop your own custom algorithms, the line buffer block also natively supports multiple pixel per clock input, so you can form your own neighborhood processing windows. To learn more about multiple pixel per clock processing and to see which blocks are natively supported, and to explore this example, consult the Vision HDL Toolbox documentation.